This is your daily briefing and you're most welcome to it. We've reached an impasse. That's why I've not been on here, because you're not stupid and um, I don't think it befits me to leap around like a monkey telling you, we're close to silent, talks in progress, but there's nothing going on. Nothing going on at all. Um, and Spurs transfer activity right now reminds me of that scene in Gladiator, the wonderful Oliver Reed's last film, um, where Proximo complains to the slave trader, those giraffes you sold me, they won't mate. They just walk around eating, not mating. You sold me queer giraffes, and I want my money back. To continue the world animal analogy, Alistair Gold lost it this week and began hurling unmentionable substances at zoo patrons. He tweeted, Fascinating that we've gone from the utter farce of last summer at Spurs to this year, with some on Twitter angry because Tottenham haven't made their fourth signing of the window yet. In June! Seven days after the last. One of the most active windows so far, surely. And more to come. Yeah, and the more temperate version then appeared in the article entitled uh, on Football London. Tottenham leave Man United, uh, Man, sorry, Manchester City, Chelsea and Arsenal trailing, but calm required in transfer market. Um, this reminds me, of, do you remember when we got beaten by Chelsea um, in a cup final, domestic cup final, and um, there were fans wandering around afterwards telling us that we bossed the possession, got beat 4-2. They scored twice as many goals as us. We bossed the possession. The problem that characters like Gold have is that they have all promised us six signings and a £150 million war chest. Fan expectations are high, higher than they have ever been. Because the billion pound stadium novelty, it's beginning to fade. We're all bored to tears with the plucky underdog routine. Spurs are in debt as far as transfer activity is concerned. We are owed lots of transfers. So the business we've done is okay. I'm not going to count the Irish goalkeeper. Don't even get me started, okay? That's not a transfer. That's just like something that happened. It's like we bought paper clips. Not interested at all. Nothing personal, just not interested. But yeah, the, the underachievement um, that, that Enoch had brought us, the lack of investment and the bad investment. And all this business, oh yeah, we're going to buy six players and everything's rosy and yeah, punch the air. We've done a little bit of business. It's been good business. I'm pleased with the business we've done, but we've not done enough. And that's where the problem lies. So don't tell us to calm down. We're not going to calm down. We'll never be calm. This is good. Um, on a lighter note, Everton growing increasingly confident a deal can be struck for the midfielder Harry Winks. Winks is keen to resolve his future soon. Uh, whilst Everton and Tottenham remain in negotiations with a potential loan fee, or loan fee being discussed. And I've got to tell you, the outpouring of grief in some places is absolutely extraordinary, bewildering. Um, th this this fellow is a good example. Um, somebody needs to check his hard drive. Um, what is a register? Wow. Yeah, okay. And it's and the trouble is it's fueled it's fueled in part by rubbish like this, Football London. Harry Winks deserves more than the goodbye he's likely to get from Spurs fans. If I have to explain to you what a massive waste of uh, time and space and effort um Harry Winks has been during his uh, prolonged stay at Tottenham, um, then I also have to explain to you how to get the cornflakes out of the box and into the bowl. So I'm not going to do it. Fabrizio Romano says that the Jed Spence talks continue. <laughs> Makes you wonder what they have to say to each other, doesn't it? Can you imagine? Fabrizio also feels that Emerson Royale could be in line for an invitation to the departure lounge at Hotspur Way. But I, I, this, this is what I'm asking myself, is, is if Jed haircut. If this guy's supposed to be an upgrade on Royal, who I accept is a hugely limited footballer, then I'm a loss to know how these people's minds work. I mean, what did Jed achieve when he was at Nottingham Forest? Two goals, three or four assists? So, Matteo Moretto says that Rafina permanent contract um, is on the cards uh, between Leeds and Arsenal. Clubs um, advanced in the operation. There is no full agreement yet, but the parties continue to get closer. At the moment, the Gunners are on pole. Add that to Gabriel Jesus, and you've got something going there, folks. Um, and this one um, left as fast as it, uh, it arrived. Uh, Nicolo Zaniolo wants to stay in Italy. Maybe a turning point with Juve move. Alfredo Padula with that news. 
uh, Charlie Eccleshire um, to, to finish with from The Athletic on Joe Roden links. He's not somebody that THFC are uh, actively looking to move on. Conte likes his attitude, but he's in that category. If the right offer came in, he could go. Highly unlikely, not played for Spurs at all. Not really, very few minutes. Um, and he contract is with Spurs until 2025. Um, loan could work. The boys are desperate to play, get some minutes in before the World Cup which I think makes a ton of sense. Um, that's it for now. Good luck. Keep it on.